Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I'll be showing you a voltmeter, this one of the smallest voltmeter module. Um, later on, I'll show you how to purchase one. I'll provide a link below. But let's just test this out first. So it's very small. You can see um, it has a positive and negative terminal, right? And um, <coughs> you want to be able to test, for example, battery that range from 4 volt to all the way to 30 volts. So battery like 6 volt uh, lead acid battery or a 12 volt this one I built volt lead acid battery so 6 or 12 you know you can even measure all the way up to 30 volt right so this would be great to connect to your um, solar power panel as well okay so because solar panel can go all the way to 24 volt so I mean you know uh, I mean you know depending on the regular right the regular type of uh, solar panel anyway okay and um, you can also test your lithium battery as well. When you fully charge a lithium battery, it has a range between 4 to 4.2 volt. Let me show you right now. So I have this lithium battery. And if I connect it, you can see it will show up as... Um, there. Okay. 4.1 volt. Here's another one, another lithium battery that I salvaged from some electronic parts. And I, I'm, I can use this again, to, right? But here we go. Oops, the other way around. Keep forgetting this deposit. And now the good thing about this voltmeter is that even if I put a different uh, terminal in, uh, it doesn't kill the uh, the voltmeter, so it'll still work. Watch this. So this one has 4.4.1 volt. It only tests one way, of course, right? Positive, negative, ten, which is a good thing because if you put in the wrong side, it won't show up but if you put in the right side it will show up and it will show uh, the voltage so 4.1 for this one now for this um, lead acid battery that I built 6 volt watch this and it will show up as now I'm gonna I'm gonna build a clip actually for this so when you buy from the link below uh, for me anyway um, I will uh, provide a clip so it will be easier to clip on two devices to measure the voltage Okay, so it shouldn't cost you more than 10, 10 bucks. Here we go. You can see that's 6.3 3 volt. This is a 12 volt battery that I built. So watch this. If I connect it, and it's 12.4 12 voltage. So very handy to have. If you have a device, you know, lithium battery or lead acid battery, and um, you know, you're charging it or a solar panel. Um, you want to carry this around, it's very small, you know, put in one of your survival kit even and uh, use it to test your battery power, right? So when you're, for example, if you're charging this through uh, using a solar panel, these two, for example, um, or even you can even charge the lithium battery as well, as long as you, you know, maintain, you know, the, the vo voltage, doesn't go beyond the, uh, the spec that is allowed for your lithium battery or lead acid battery, you know, the only way to do that is to be able to um, monitor it, and to monitor it, you need a voltmeter. And there it is, very tiny. You know, it can fit also. It's uh, you know, the size of a thumb actually. Look at that, but maybe thicker, right? It's pretty good. And my thumb is quite small actually. Small, okay. So one of the smallest uh, voltmeter you can have around. So if you want to purchase it, check the link below. Uh, it shouldn't cost you more than ten bucks, right? Plus shipping handle of course which may be another two bucks okay so I'll, I will if you buy from me I will provide a clip at the bottom end here and uh, yeah and then you should be able to clip onto any device you want okay let me show you how I do that okay so here's a clip terminal that I will provide um, now I'll actually um, provide it with this module and you can put it together right I'll show you how to do that actually okay so what you want to do is um, it has a negative and pos uh, positive and negative end, and what you want to do is just align. So if it's um, black, you align it with a black end, and then using a and just so what you want to do here, take this uh, plastic tube out, and then at the end of this, what you want to do is I think you should tie it in. In fact, I recommend you solder it in. It's probably better to do that. Solder it in. I would definitely recommend this. 
because I'm not sure if you just, you know, clip it in like this, it will not hold very long. So I will solder this in later on. And then using a wire stripper, on this end, you can just press onto the wire and there we go. And then what you want to do is of course solder it in to the device. There. Okay. Then I would solder it in here. Okay. I'm going to solder there. And that should be okay. And then this plastic tube will just place here. Okay. In fact, you want to heat this plastic tube that will hold into place. Okay. Then the other end, using positive clip terminal. That's red. That's why it's indicated as being positive. Okay, we're going to move this plastic down. Same thing, I'm going to solder it later. Now, if you want me to solder it, I'll have another module that's complete where um, you don't have to solder. Um, you know, it's already pre uh, it will be soldered for you, and then all you have to, it's all pretty much a um, complete kit. Whereas um, there's another kit where you know, it's not soldered at, I'll just provide you with a clip, okay? So the, dif the difference, of course, is $2, okay? So one's going to be $10 plus shipping and handling, handling and the other one is going to be $12 uh, with a soldered clip and plus shipping and handling, okay? There we go, so we have now a clip at the end. Let's test it out. Okay, so now you see this, the clip at the end. The easier to just clip onto any battery system and test their voltage. Okay, so this module, for example, if you click, click the link below, um, it will cost about, including the clip here, right? Now it will come into two types one, just a clip, and you have to put it yourself, you have to saw it in yourself. Uh, will cost you twelve dollars, uh, or the other one, which just come with a clip, um, come with a clip, and it's soldered in. Will cost uh, twelve bucks, so two dollars difference. Okay, so I'm I'm doing that personally myself. I'll solder in for you, and um, and then of course a the shipping hand will probably about two bucks. Okay, so altogether it depends on which one you're buying. If you're buying with just the clips and the voltmeter, it will cost you. Um, uh, twelve dollars, including shipping and handling, and then the one with solder in clip will cost you $14 including shipping and handling okay there we go now let's test it out negative terminal and positive terminal there we go see see how easy it is just clip it on and then you'll be able to measure it in fact this is awesome if you have a solar panel and you try to charge this uh, battery for example and then you just gotta have to monitor this okay make sure that it doesn't exceed whatever the spec of this battery is okay here's um, another one this is a 12 volt uh, battery okay that I built like this one this is showing 12.4 um, volt so easy clip on device um, excellent for measuring your uh, voltage in your uh, batteries okay also the panel you can even do that um, yeah, and it's so com so um, portable. Look at how small it is. Look at that, huh? Put in your pocket, actually. You could even do that. Uh, a great uh, survival kit device. Okay. Now, if you have a lithium battery, for example, this one here, you can also measure that as well. So let's say you fully charge your lithium battery. You click on the negative end and then the positive end. And voila. See? shows up 4.1 volt very easy handy to have put in your pocket one of your survival tools this is a, a must if you are doing solar panels and battery testing and all that I mean so small you can use to measure voltage and voltage is indirectly a measurement for the battery anyway it's a, indirectly a measurement of how much um, uh, you know energy is in the um, 
in the battery okay so I mean it's not a way to measure the current however you know the voltage is related to the amount of you know power in the battery indirectly anyway for example this battery if it reaches 4.2 you know it's fully charged right if it's less than um, it's like uh, 3.7 you know it's you know it doesn't it's uh, running out of juice okay um, the limit of this lithium battery is of 3 volt and this thing doesn't measure 3 volt right actually the limit of this um, voltmeter is 3 less than 3 volt 3 volt or less okay can it measure 3 volt but it cannot measure uh, anything below that so so if you know that this doesn't show up that means this lithium battery for example which is a 3.7 volt um, and it's uh, less than 3 volt for example it will not measure it won't show up but if it's like um, you know above 3 volt it will be able to show up and show you that you can still use this uh, lithium battery so pretty cool so this uh, voltage uh, voltmeter is uh, portable very you know small it's a pocket size you know very tiny uh, used for measuring lithium batteries 3.7 volt you know range is uh, 3 volt to 30 volt okay okay so you can get one for about uh, 10 bucks with shipping and handling or one with a soldered clip for 12 bucks plus shipping and handling okay there you go thanks for watching educate